doing postmortems on a single animal doesn't just aid our understanding of the disease in that animal, it aids the understanding in all of our animals in our zoos, all of that species in the wild. As a pathologist for ZSL, we have animals ranging from the tiniest corals and spiders up to things the size of rhinos and elephants, and every single one of them gets a postmortem. So the way I postmortem a rhino is very similar to how I'd postmortem something a lot smaller, like a mouse or a rat. It's just on a completely different scale. So, for example, Clara's heart weighed over 15 kilograms, but it was even things like her skin, which is almost two inches thick and can repel a bullet, is so heavy that we need uh, power lifters and teams of people just to be able to move the skin around. As a conservation organisation, we're dedicated to the conservation of this species. We keep several live white rhinos here at Whipsnade, but we also keep a DNA bank. So we took samples of DNA from this rhino to store, so there'll be a copy of her genome available for all time. And we also took a sample of cartilage from her ear. So even though she's gone, her cells will hopefully live for many years hence and can be used to study white rhino biology and genetics.